Hey guys, what's up? My name is Wes Stewart. Thought I would sit down and do a quick review of Peter McKinnon's new uh, 2021 Lightroom presets. If you don't know who Peter McKinnon is, um, not sure why you're watching this video, but here you go. Um, this is website, petermckinnon.com. There he is. Here's his presets. He's got some limited edition prints, YouTube channel. Uh, anyway. Uh, his old presets are actually gone. Not sure where those went. I don't know if they're just not available anymore, but uh, this is what I'm reviewing. PM Lightroom V4 presets 2021. So as of time of recording this video, um, he just came out with these about a, about a week and a half ago. So I haven't really had time to, to do much with them at all. And I really wanted to sit down this evening and just kind of kind of browse through them, see how they work, uh, see what each one of them does and how they work for my shooting style. Um, now I do a lot of outdoor stuff and I've recently been trying to edit a whole catalog um, of photos from a recent trip, uh, late September or uh, early October that we did to Wyoming and Montana. So what I did, um, just I've got some got some photos here. Uh, as far as the presets, there's 23 different presets, and uh, we're just we're just gonna go through each one, and I'm gonna do some quick edits. Uh, hopefully not spend too much time, but we're gonna do some quick edits, and I'll go through and show you each one, and we'll just see how they work for me. My my style of shooting is a little different than Peter's. Um, he does a lot of product photography and that kind of stuff, um, but he does a lot of outdoors things too, as as you know. Um, so anyway, let's let's just see what happens. All right. Um, first, first up, black kraken. Looks like uh, crushed blacks. And as we go through these again, I, I've I have not used these at, at all really. So I'm I'm kind of learning these as as we go. Um, looks like crushed, like lifted lifted blacks. Um, more grays. Let's increase shadows. Increase blacks a little bit. Bring back some detail. Clarity, yeah, like that. Highlights, we can uh, bring down the highlights, increase uh, detail in the sky there. And let's try this. Let's go select sky, do a mask. We're gonna go invert. And let's just see what increasing, yeah, increasing highlights here. All right, that's that's cool. Uh, Black Kraken, there's the first one. Before, after. Happy with that. All right, uh, moving right along. Photo number two. I really like this photo. Uh, these are these first few photos. This is Glacier National Park. I'll try to explain a little bit. Glacier National Park in Montana. I'll explain a little bit about the photos as we go. Uh, number two, Black Magic, uh, another black and white. So let's increase shadows, get some detail, uh, bring back some detail in the foreground here, and maybe we'll decrease highlights a little more. That's pretty cool. We can increase clarity some too. I, something about the clarity with the black and whites I really like. And I'll probably crop this one. A lot of times when I'm cropping I like 16 by 10 just because it works for my MacBook Pro wallpaper. So maybe maybe something about like that. And again just just quick edit. I mean I'm, I'm happy with that. So there's before and there's after. All right, next, number three. This is uh, Lake McDonald, also in Glacier National Park. I believe the largest largest lake in uh, Glacier. So we have blue seas. This was obviously shot at um, blue hour. This was after the sun had set. You see the sun had gone down. Blue seas, looks like this adds a nice sort of blue, um, yeah, a lot of blue tones here. So I'm already liking that a lot. Why don't we? See what happens if I decrease highlights just a little bit more. 
let's do this. I want to bring up some detail in the foreground. Let's try this linear gradient. Let's drag it this way. And oh yeah, there we go. A little bit of clarity on the rocks. Let's highlights. If I really wanted to get fancy, if I wasn't uh, filming this, doing this video, I would probably go into Photoshop and get rid of the uh, lights there in the background, but that's all right. And then quick, quick crop. I would probably do something like that. That's close to rule of thirds there. So pretty happy with that before, after. Yeah, it really brings out the, the, the blue. All right, number four. Here's a cool little chipmunk I saw on a hike. Um, I have blue topaz. So it looks like um, it's a little cooler. I want to just bring the warmth up just a little, something like that. So that would already be postable right there as far as Instagram or whatever else. Uh, I think what I want to do is select subject. Let's try to make the subject stand out a little more. Let's go invert the mask and we'll decrease exposure on the rocks. Bring down the exposure a little bit more. And we could probably crop this in too. Let's just do something like that. All right, before and after. Yeah, not bad at all. <clears throat> I, I like the contrast uh, quite a bit on that. And looks like some nice colors. Boy, some crazy detail. This was shot with the, uh, the, the 100 to 500 from Canon. Great lens. All right, number five, photo five, moving right along. Captain's Reserve. Peter, I think you've got a typo. Pretty sure that's supposed to say Captain's Reserve. So let's select that. And it uh, looks like some desaturated greens. Um, what I'm seeing already is it uh, kind of blew out the skin tones. So let's see what happens. If I just decrease highlights. Yeah, that, that fixes a little bit of that. And then we can go maybe in the the orange uh, luminance. Yeah, uh, let's decrease luminance on the oranges just a little bit. Yeah, that, that looks a little better. And the last thing I would do, just quickly maybe increase shadows a little more, lift shadows on this side. So that's cool. That's kind of a, a neat travel, travel sort of feel to desaturated colors. So there's before, there's after. Captain's Reserve. All right, uh, photo six, we have this baby pronghorn uh, clean deck. So that's a little overexposed now. Just gonna bring the exposure back down. Maybe something along those lines. Let's crop. And let's see what that looks like before, after. I like how this uh, brought out uh, the, the detail here. It kind of darkened the edges, darkened the shadows. And focus your attention more to the middle. So yeah, I like that. All right, number seven. This is still, still in Glacier National Park. Uh, this is my kid. This is a uh, avalanche lake. We hiked a few miles out uh, here. Number seven, crisp air. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so that definitely increased saturation, brightened it up. I actually really like that. Um, don't really even need to do a whole lot to that, to be honest. What I could do though, let's go here. So the, the rock, the foreground's a little on the bright side. Let's do a new mask, let's do a linear gradient, drag it up from the bottom over the rock, and then I'm going to subtract the subject. And let's decrease exposure. 
by about a by about a stop, maybe shadows a little. And that's that's a lot better. So that brings your attention more up, up to the middle, and away from all this bright rock down here at the bottom. So there's before, there's after. <laughs> All right, number eight, deep secrets. Let's see what this does. Uh, looks like brightened it up. Desaturated some colors. Let's see what they desaturated here. Yeah, yellows and greens. All right, so what I would do first off, the crop is irritating me. Let's straighten the horizon. Maybe something like something like that. Maybe bring down highlights. And I like it. It's my wife and my kid walking walking on the the shores of Lake McDonald. So there's before, there's after. There's more we could do to this, but again, this is just try to give a quick overview of what the different presets look like. So let's go on. Uh, number nine. All right, we have one called Drift. Looks like that's gonna darken, desaturate. Super popular look in travel photography. Um, let's bring the shadows back up. We need to straighten the crop. Uh, I think the colors here are a little, a little too bright. Let's um, decrease luminance on the, probably gonna be in the yellows, yeah. Decrease the yellows a little bit. And actually let's desaturate the yellows a little as well. Something like that. Uh, temperature. I would just leave it around there. Pretty cool. Like that. Again, there's more we could do. I could I could do more to this foreground. We could play around with clarity. We could play around with the curves. We could do all kinds of stuff. But uh, just for purposes of reviewing the, uh, the different presets. I don't mind that at all. All right, number 10. First Mate, I like how all these are, are named after uh, like pirate themed stuff. All right, First Mate. So that's very cool right off the bat. Yeah, that definitely cooled everything down which is not what I was going for with this landscape photos. This is the other end of um, Avalanche Lake. Uh, it's cool with the, see the waterfalls. Uh, all right, so for me, in my editing, I would warm this back up probably, probably qu quite a bit. At least with this preset. I don't know, maybe, maybe it would be different with some, some other photos, but just for this photo. Um, can decrease highlights. Actually, actually, let's do this. Let's do select. Let's mask out the sky and just decrease the highlights in the sky. There we go. And now we can. Uh, all right, let's do that again. Let's go create new mask. Select sky and then we're going to invert that now we can edit just the foreground and leave the sky alone and let's bring up the exposure a little bit and that's actually pretty cool uh, looks like overall again uh, desaturated oh, where do we go yeah desaturated yellows and greens so you could play around with all that stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, don't mind that at all. Crop, I would probably 
Probably cut out a little bit of that water. Something like that. Alright, before, after. All right, next photo, you can, I'll go back real quick. Uh, on this photo of me hiking on the Highline Trail, uh, you can see I'm decked out with my bear spray, and here's a good reason why. This was high up in, in Glacier, ran across this big old fat grizzly bear. Um, thankfully, just was wanting to root around in the, in the grass and wasn't uh, paying too much attention to us, but, Good, good to have bear spray when you're when you're hiking in grizzly territory. So number eleven, gold rum. Let's see what this looks like. All right, this is going to be uh, lowering lowering exposure. A lot of contrast on this. I actually really like how the foreground looks. Um, that actually made some of the the snow stand out. It had just started snowing when we spotted this bear. Uh, hadn't been snowing long enough to stick on the ground yet, but it was cool that it was in the air. So I'm actually just just right off the bat really happy with the background, but the bear is too dark. So let's go select, select subject. And I'm going to increase shadows. Increase exposure just a bit. And this was a this was a cool experience seeing this thing come over the ridge, and that's not bad right there to be honest. Probably just leave it something like that. Um, I would probably let's crop in a little bit. Here, let's do again. I like my sixteen by ten, so I can I can use it as a wallpaper on my MacBook Pro. So let's, uh, let's crop something like this. Still have some of this nice foreground. We've got this tree and <laughs> here he comes right over the ridge. Look at those big claws. That's cool. All right, there's before, there's after. Uh, like liking that preset a lot actually. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, number 12, I can't spend too much time. All right, this is before sunrise, blue hour. This is um, Wild Goose Island. It's a tiny little speck of land out there in the water. Uh, number 12, so we're on to Golden Sea. Let's see what this looks like, Golden Sea. So increased saturation. What I would do with this, let's decrease highlights, bring back some of the detail in the clouds, and let's bring the shadows way up. Oh, there we go. And then we'll decrease the blacks to bring some of the contrast back. Yeah, liking that a lot right there. And let's see what this looks like with a crop. Probably just put the island right in the center. Probably something like that. So there's before. You can see I was a little underexposed, but I was trying not to lose too much detail in, in the clouds when I shot this photo. Uh, so a little underexposed, and the whole picture overall is a little bit on the cool side. So that looks great. Definitely happy with that. Those are those are great. All right, um, number thirteen. Here's just another landscape photo. Uh, let's move on. Green light. So that uh, desaturated seemed like it darkened. Probably with the curves. I'm gonna assume. For me personally, these landscape photos, and, and, and as you can see, this was shot in the fall, so we had nice fall colors, the yellows and oranges and all that stuff. Um, I would probably wanna, wanna brighten this up. Let's try, let's try warming it up, number one. Let's try temperature, a little on the cool side. Um, bring shadows up, blacks back down. 
let's see what oh yeah highlights bring the detail back in the sky let's bring the shadows up some more and what I would probably do let's um, well I uh, let's let's do this so I'm seeing seeing this looks like the water's a little too bright it's a little distracting so let's try luminance let's decrease luminance on the blues a little bit which is going to affect the sky as you can see if I go all the way down it affects the sky and the mountains in the background but let's just decrease a little bit and we'll just play around with some sliders if I increase luminance on yellows Greens doesn't do a whole lot. Oranges. I wonder what happens if we... Let's go down to calibration. Yeah, let's increase saturation blues a little bit. So for me, that that works. Uh, I Again, it's just kind of making the preset. All these the presets, when you're, when you're editing, it's really can't just expect to hit a preset and then hit export you gotta gotta tweak it how you want uh, but I, I really really like that actually um, again I would probably just crop it something like that done photo all right 14 lush island let's see just hovering over looks like increases contrast it's nicely saturated. A little dark. Let's increase shadows. Decrease highlights. This might be a little on the blue side. Um, see what happens if I. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave that alone. Honestly, I'd probably just, let's just leave it. There's before and there's after. Do a quick crop. And we'll put the birds on the, on the thirds line. Yeah, I'll call that a done photo. All right, number 15. Next one's called Paradise. That really, really increases contrast a lot. Uh, this is obviously Old Faithful in Yellowstone. Um, that, that preset works pretty well because it brings out the, uh, the water, water drops. We were lucky on, on this day. We got to, to watch Old Faithful go off twice. That was pretty cool. So um, let's see what happens if we play with highlights, shadows. If we decrease the shadows even more, that really darken the shadows really increases the, uh, the contrast. Whites, bring the whites up just a bit. That's pretty cool. That really, that really makes the uh, water drop stand out. So there's before, and there's after. Wow, look at the look at the sunlight shining off those water drops. I like it. All right, number number fifth or sixteen. Sixteen red rum. So that's going to definitely make the photo warmer. Got this bison, this is in the Grand Tetons. A little overexposed, so let's try. Actually, I don't want to decrease exposure. I like the exposure on the bison here. Let's do select subject. Invert. Decrease exposure a little bit. 
decrease highlights a little bit. And we could crop this multiple ways. So I could do my, my wallpaper, I could do rule of thirds, put this right on the third line. I try to shoot using the rule of thirds a lot, to be honest. Um, I'll put this right on the thirds line, that would look cool. Or the other thing that would look cool, if we do a little four by five action here for Instagram, we could crop it this way, go right in the center. And that would be a cool shot for Instagram. But for now, let's just leave it there. All right, 17. Uh, this was uh, early morning. We got up um, in the Tetons and went out to do a little photo shoot. This is my, my kid and my wife. So number 17, rising tide, let's see what this looks like. So that looks good. Uh, seems to preserve skin tones quite a bit. Uh, brightens it up, darkens this. If we look at the before. Before, um, this is a pretty flat photo. So that adds some contrast and kind of shifts everything, shifts your, your viewpoint up to the face, which I like. I don't know that I need to do a lot to that, to be honest. I mean, maybe decreased highlights just a little. Huh, I actually really like that. So that one was rising tide. Okay, number 18. So big old, big old bull moose and uh, baby moose calf. Probably a year or two old, I'm guessing. All right, 18 sand trap. Let's see. This was shot pretty late in the evening. Um, you can see here ISO 6400. I was at 500 millimeters, one three twentieth. This is handheld. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is pretty late in the evening, overcast, sun had gone down, it was getting cold, but it was just too good of a photo. Um, so let's see what Sand Trap does. Uh, I got some foreground stuff blurred out here. Uh, I like the, the interaction. I thought this was just a, a cool, a cool photo, even, even though it wasn't perfect as far as light and sharpness and all that stuff. So to me, it's a little on the cool side. I'm gonna warm up the temperature a little bit. Let's go select subject. Let's just increase shadows a little. Um, it's got some weird blue tones over here. Let's try. Actually, let's do this. Let's go back to let's see if we can. I don't know if that affects the mask or not. I don't know if I can do that. Never mind. Um, let's let's just try. Let's try desaturating the blues a little bit. Maybe luminance. I can bring down the blues. Just a hair. And we'll crop. All right. And let's look at before and after. So there's before and there's after. Number 19, saw this lone tree with sunlight kind of swiping across. Got the nice, nice fall colors. I just thought the contrast was pretty neat and I liked the photo. Uh, I shot it a little underexposed because I was afraid of blowing out the tree. 
Um, so in the process, all this is a bit dark. So 19, let's see what 19 looks like. 19 is seaweed. Looks like the black point is lifted a little. Let's um, decrease the blacks a little. Increase exposure a bit. Highlights, let's bring them up a little. Uh, other thing we can do, we could try to do a linear gradient. Swipe up this way. Let's try, yeah, if we lower the highlights a little, it kind of kind of darkens that foreground just just a bit there's before and after the the before it's definitely more contrasty that's a little flatter we could increase the contrast a bit I don't know this is a photo you could probably edit like a thousand different ways um, but we'll just we'll just leave it at that so yeah this is another one too where you could could crop a few different ways. We could we could do Instagram vertical. Put the tree right in the middle. Yeah, that would be a cool Instagram shot. Or let's just leave it like this. Here. Reset crop. And straighten the tree just a little. I think the tree is a little crooked anyway. All right, before and after. Number 20, this was same morning we did this photo shoot. Just another one. Uh, set sail, number 20. So that looks a little on maybe the green side to me. Let's see what happens if I add, take away from the greens, add some magenta. That looks pretty good. Um, it's a little overexposed. The sun had come up and it was kind of filtering through the, the trees. I, I liked it, um, putting them right in the right in the middle here in this little patch of sunlight with everything else dark around. But let's see what happens if I go Select subject, decrease highlights all the way down. Yeah, that's that's much better. Yeah, much better. All right, there's before, there's after. Could also crop, or yeah, we could also crop. Let's do, let's do that. All right, twenty-one. Here's another moose. Twenty-one shallow sea. All right, so what do we have here? Looks like yeah, curve. Definitely lifted blacks. A little less contrasty. Let's increase exposure. It's a little underexposed. This is early morning. It was cold in the 20s. I actually don't mind that right there. Before and after. Yeah, don't mind that at all. 22, here is some beavers. Here are some beavers. This is the first time I'd ever seen beavers in the wild. This was pretty cool. They were building their dam. Pretty cute. Uh, so we're on to smooth sailing. Let's see what this looks like. This is going to... It's like desaturate the greens. Yep. 
desaturated greens um, can increase exposure, lift the shadows, maybe just a little, but not too much. This would probably be another good one for um, travel photos, just in general. Let's bring the, yeah, I thought the water was a little on the bright side. Let's bring the luminance of the blue back down somewhat. And the last thing, I just want to warm the whole picture up some. Maybe, maybe like that. Quick crop. Before, after. Not as wild of a change as some of the other presets, but I actually like that a lot. That that preset could be used for a bunch of stuff. All right, moving right along. Number 23. We have last one, uh, Storm. So Storm is really going to darken the whole picture. Um, what's it doing here? Let's go check out the yeah, luminance of the yellows. I'm going to increase that. This was shot in very bright sunlight, as you can see in the before photo. It was extremely difficult. Um, I, I really wanted to get this picture. I like this one in particular, the tongue was sticking out, but uh, just some harsh shooting conditions. So let's see if we can bring some detail back. If we increase shadows, that's good, that's better. Uh, doesn't really match the overall scene though. What do we need? desaturate the yellows not so much greens in there desaturate the greens a little as well There's before, there's after. Uh, I'd be interested in seeing how how that preset works on um, some other photos. Again, this is really my first time even using these, so got a lot of playing around to do. All right, last one. I've got one bonus photo. This is Old Barn, uh, one of the famous spots that people go to for photography in the Tetons. It's called Mormon Row. These old barns, I think, were built back in the early 1900s, if I'm not mistaken. Probably have to look that up. I might be wrong. But I know a ton of people like to photograph this. So I thought this would be a cool photo for one of these black and white ones and just wanted to, to try it out. So let's do, let's do black magic. Decrease highlights. Increase shadows. And do a quick crop. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, Alright, the last thing we can do here, if I can figure out, let's just quickly go through before and after. I'll just go through go through all these um, yeah not a huge not a huge difference here but I, I really like that overall I could definitely see myself using several of these presets regularly 
Um, I think these are I think these are good presets. I'll probably probably add them into my standard rotation of other presets that I use. And last thing I kind of am interested in, let me select all of these. Let's go back to library. And yeah, this let's do the let's do the survey view. Oops. Let's reselect all these. Survey view. I just want to see just want to see what they all look like kind of next to each other and how they how they mesh. So that's one preset per photo. Each one a different preset, but I, I think they, they look good. I'm happy with, with all those, to be honest. I would probably post all of those. Um, colors aren't obviously all the, all the same, but uh, looks good. So yeah, hope you enjoy the little, little look at Peter McKinnon's presets. Uh, be sure to support him, go buy them and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right, if that was helpful, yeah, leave me a comment. Feel free to ask questions if you have any, any questions about uh, any of this stuff, and I'll try to get back to you. Anyway, uh, see you later. Bye.